Hi everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you today and this happens to be card number three from my Christmas Gleaming class of the month. This one is a catalog case. You'll find this on page 32, I believe, of the holiday catalog. So we're going to be using the designer series papers along with the stamps from the Christmas Gleaming Suite and we're going to tie in the Pretty Peacock Old Olive dual ribbon and we're also using some of the fun copper foil elements that you can get that coordinate with the set as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the kit if you purchase the class that you'll be receiving. So you get the envelope, you have the ribbon, you've got all the pieces of um, cardstock and designer series paper pre-cut for you. You've got the two elements for that and this will be for the inside. So all you need to do is have the stamps and for this one we're going to be using the tailored tag punch to create the bottom of our tag, but if you have other punches that will do that, or you could freehand it with your scissors, um, you can certainly do that as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. So this one to start off is really pretty simple. We're just going to be layering. So I've got my first piece of patterned paper. This is the one with all the ornaments on it. And that's going on my card. Now, to case it from the catalog, they have the top and the bottom with a slightly larger band than the sides, so I mimicked that. So, if you wanted it more uniform, you could cut your paper in a little thinner, but I did stick with the way they showed it. Now, from there, I have another piece of pattern paper, which is going to go down like this. It creates the background banner behind our sentiment tag, and that one I'm also going to be putting down with just some snail. Okay. Now from here, I've got the ribbon layer, right? So this is how I did mine. Since I'm going to have this big tag over the top, I'm just putting snail right on my cardstock. And then before I put it on, I'm going to bring my ends together. And I'm going to give them a nice clean cut with my paper snips. Just like that. So now, I'm going to go ahead and start layering it. So I start here at the edge, and I just come across the card and then I loop it back. So now both sides are showing and then I'm going to go back one more time just like that. Okay, so there's that piece. Great, easy. Alright, now I'm going to bring in my Knight of Navy ink and I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto my piece of vanilla here. So I'm going to start with Deck the Halls I'm putting that right here near the top. And then I've got and be jolly. I'm putting down here below. And it looks like I cut this tag thinner than the other one, which is fine. It's just going to be a little bit different. So now I'm going to put this oh, this way. I'm going to put this into my punch to create that bottom banner. There we go. So there's my tag. So this is now going to go on with dimensionals right over the top of that ribbon. Just like that. Alright, so now we've got our two little elements, our star and our ornament. Now I did use my fine tip glue to put these on because there's very small spaces behind. So first for the ornament, I'm going to put a little dab right on the back of what would be like the ball topper. Just a little bit and then there was just a little spot down there. So I barely touched it with that liquid glue. And then I'm just flipping it over and I'm putting it up here in that part of our tag. Okay, and then for the star, I'm just going to add a little dot right in the center. Pick that up by its points, flip it over, and it's coming right down here on the bottom. So, just like that, we've got our card made. So let me put the top back on this fine tip glue. You don't want to leave your fine tip glue open because the air will dry any glue in that 
uh, point, and so that can give you some trouble. All right, so from there, let's go ahead and stamp our envelope. So I'm sticking with the Knight of Navy, and I'm going to put the small ornament on there. And then for the center, I think, yes, I have the Merry Christmas and that little filigree underneath. So here's my centerpiece. So in the Knight of Navy, I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the little filigree underneath it. And then we just flip that over and add some snail. And that will go into the center of our card. And we've done it. So, not difficult at all. Just some nice fun layers, some snazzy embellishments, that fun copper embellished designer series paper. And just like that, we created the wonderful card that was in the catalog. And you can do it too. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's show and tell. Again, remember this is card three of the class, so if you wanna just purchase the tutorials, you can do that through the online store on my website. And if you want the whole kit where you get all of the uh, card kits plus the tutorials, you just need to contact me and we'll take care of that for you and we'll get them out in the mail. So thanks everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's project. Stay tuned for two more and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.